So in Foods One, um, towards the end of the semester, we usually do a pie lab to have the students kind of show off their skills that they learn throughout the semester. They create a homemade double crust pie from start to finish over a course of three days. In the beginning, it seems so intimidating making a homemade pie completely from scratch. So what Mrs. Lezak and I do is we demonstrate the recipe from start to finish using our demonstration cameras that we have in the Foods classroom. So they can see from their seats on the demonstration camera what we are doing Doing within these recipes. I think one of the great things about our foods classes in Family Consumer Science are all the different academic skills that the students are drawing from. So the cool thing about foods in general is that we are pulling a bunch of different disciplines into our class. For example, when students are reading a recipe, they're learning vocabulary skills, they're learning how to follow directions from start to finish. As far as math skills go, they need to measure their ingredients appropriately using fractions, sometimes doubling or tripling or cutting a fraction in half. That becomes science, right? Because you're taking a leavening agent like baking powder, baking soda, and you are producing the end result, which is a rising pie crust. So you're bringing in math, science, um, reading, and all these different aspects throughout their school day, and they're learning it in a different way. So the first day they create their own homemade pie crust. The second day they create their homemade filling, which then becomes frozen with the apples and the cinnamon and all the goodness that's inside. And then the third day they kind of combine everything. So this is a double crust pie, which means that they have a layer of pie on the bottom, the pie filling in the middle, and then they can choose the top crust of their choice. So they can choose whether they want just a simple um, with a fluted edge, they can choose what's called a lattice crust, which has the strips, or they can use some cookie cutters and make it kind of fun, um, or braids and kind of make it of their choice. I feel like the Apple Pie Lab really like reflects you you can add like your little your little spice to it, you know, like you can add your personality to it with the pie crust So I feel like bringing that home and showing it to your family really shows like not only your cooking skills But like your, your creativity skills when it comes to stuff in the kitchen like that So one of the things that is so much fun about being a foods teacher is seeing these students faces light up when they make something amazing. What's really cool about this unit is that students actually take home their pies um, to serve to their families and friends over Thanksgiving break and it's just awesome to hear how much their family loved it. Through the pie lab they're really able to finally show off their skills and bring home something for their families to enjoy that they've made handmade. When students are able to turn in their pies to us ready to be frozen to take home, seeing the smile on their faces like, we did this, look what I did. It's just amazing as a teacher to see. It's really cool because I'm the one in the family who like my mom complains about because I don't know how to cook. But like, it's the dish that everyone's waiting for this Thanksgiving. So the goal of all of our foods classes and really all of our current tech ed classes as a whole is to provide students with experiential learning where they're gonna get hands-on experience and hopefully by the end of the semester they find something that they're passionate about, maybe for a potential career, or just develop life skills that they'll be able to carry on uh, outside of school. Coming back from COVID, we noticed a lot of students were struggling with communication. We were just behind the screen for a while and um, coming back in person was a little bit of a struggle. So what's great about foods class is it really gave them an outlet to practice those skills again. So what makes foods classes set apart from other classes around the school is that we are 9th through 12th grade. So students can come into Foods 1 as a freshman and be in a group with two other seniors, maybe a sophomore. I always like to say food brings people together. When you cook together, when you eat together, they get to know each other. When they work together, they kind of build this bond that um, gets stronger and stronger as the semester goes on. Hey, we're a team right here. Team right here. I can't do anything without these girls. Right. Really can't. Right. The job. I was working together. <laughs> and it's fun. You're really going to get your social skills up because you're talking with everybody in your group and it's just so fun to cook things and you get to bring them home and eat them at the end of the day. Not only do you get to learn different skills in cooking, but you also get to communicate with others, make friends. Your, your social skills really like improve because if you're not talking during the lab and stuff like that, it's going to be awkward when you have to cook. So you really have to open up and stuff like that and you get to make food. You get food out of it. You get cookies out of it.